Hey there, everyone. We are back today with another comic book series review. And this is, again, a complete series. This is the New 52 series, Gotham by Midnight. And Gotham by Midnight um, is kind of like right up there with Frankenstein as like the best series nobody read. So <laughs> Gotham by Midnight kind of has this... It, it's got a different kind of art style, you can see. Um, the first, the first half of it, at least, is art by Ben Temple Smith, who is the artist for like, the, uh, what is it, Forty Days of Night, Thirty Days of Night, fuck, <laughs> um, whatever the Forty Days of Night, what uh, you guys know what I mean. If I'm wrong with the number, I forget. Um, but yeah, so you can see it's kind of stylized. It's got um, so this series is about a kind of um, paranormal division of the Gotham PD. And, of course, you can see, like, here, the character is Jim Corrigan, the Spectre. So this is, you know, it's New 52, so Jim Corrigan is the Spectre again. And here you can see there's a Batman. A Batman. I say a Batman because this isn't uh, Bruce Wayne Batman. This is Jim Gordon Batman. There was a brief period where Jim Gordon was Batman. And this happens during that part. But here, you can see it's got lots of kind of like Lovecraftian things going on here. You've got these kind of crazed monsters. And you've also got uh, lots of stuff to go on with the, uh, the swamp here. The, what is it? murder swamp <laughs> that's near gotham so like in the swamp is where like salman grundy is comes from and uh there's a big uh story to go with it with uh in um seven soldiers of victory but so this is basically this the basic story is that you have this kind of team here that is you know this team that's part of the police that they handle things that nobody else can handle, things that are uh, your kind of paranormal things that nobody believes in or can figure out. And the main arc is that, you know, Gordon was protecting them, but he's gone. So now they're, they're like under investigation by uh, this fellow here who is the, uh, the uh, internal affairs guy. And like they bring him out on a, to kind of this thing <laughs> this this case and the specter shows up and nearly destroys all of all of gotham and you know the team like he can't really believe it he's doesn't know what's happening you can look at this art though so <laughs> this art is not your standard kind of dc art but i really love it i love the colors the colors especially are great in this uh comic but i love the art i love the the story was really good um and you know it, it it ends on a kind of arc. We got we got a good look at you know it's a good introduction to the kind of secret Gotham paranormal de um, paranormal I, don't, I guess detectives but uh, paranormal paranormal department within the police. And the first the first volume is like pretty great like uh, i really enjoyed this so i got the second volume which is the rest of the series because it was canceled after this and it's similar in kind of thickness and um you know the number of issues as frankenstein was so if you have you know the first one is a bit thinner it's like I, six issues i think and then the the uh, second one is eight i think and then it and then the series ends but this one picks up, but there's a marked change here. So, like, it starts, and the art is different. And this one is also kind of stylized, but I don't like it. <laughs> the coloring is still good, but the uh, um, the art is not as good as the uh, Ben Temple Smith art. I couldn't, like... Uh, like, looking at this, if you were to pick out of these four people, who would you say Corrigan is? Because... Like, the characters, besides this character, the other ones don't really look like the characters that they were. And also, okay, 
the thing here is like the internal affairs guy is back and he's like pissed and angry. So here's Corrigan. Doesn't look anything like the other. I mean, like, look at the difference. It's like, doesn't really look like the same guy. But the internal affairs guy in this is suddenly a black guy. But maybe he was supposed to be. I don't know. Because like, he he's like nondescript race in the... Uh, I mean, I'm trying to find a picture of the... Oh, wait, this is different kind of thing but i'm trying to find a picture of the internal affairs guy drawn by this artist as opposed to the other artist and like may maybe this artist is actually capture capturing who the character is better because like um you know all right maybe it's right towards the beginning where you see him so let's see I'm trying to find it it's kind of a bad for my point if I can't show you what I'm talking about. But, like, you know, like, the thing is, is when I was reading this, I was like, who is this character? Is this someone I should know from the previous story? And it turns out it's the the uh, internal affairs guy, but damn it. <laughs> can't find it. But let's just say he's like, he looks totally different. It's It's really weird. I want to I want to do a side by side comparison, and okay, so here's a picture of him. Here's what he looks like. Here's how he looks in this comic. Clearly a black man. Here's how he looks in the first, the first issue, with his Ben Temple Smith art. Um, damn, I'm looking for a good picture of him. I guess, like I guess he's looks kind of black. Maybe this is a failing of Ben Templesmith to actually portray the character as he is, but, like, I wouldn't have pegged this guy. I would have pegged this guy as, like, um, bald white guy. <laughs> um, there he is. Okay, so here's, like, a good image comparison here. So you have these two characters. This is the same character, but this guy does not look like this guy, right? This guy, clearly a black man. This guy, he he just looks like, you know, it, <laughs> it looks like a white guy to me. So, I mean, like, look at that. And I guess maybe if you're, like, here, I guess maybe he could be a black man. But, like, all the other time, like, it's not like his skin is noticeably dark or anything. It's not even, like particularly a different shade than Corian's, who is like the patheist of white men. He's, he's a, he's a ginger. So like, anyway, the, here, the story, the story is sort of, um, switch up, switch up a bit. So the internal affairs thing is still going on, but there's a bunch of like kind of one shot stories where some small elements are happening. Here is like, there's some kind of crazed plant that's growing through these houses that where every people are dying. And, you know, there's a kind of a ghost that they do some stuff with. But, you know, here, like some, some of this art is good. Like, it's pretty cool. Here's more of your Jim Gordon Batman. Um, but, you know, here's, there's like a big difference between the kind of art. Actually, the specter doesn't look bad and the, the uh, monsters look pretty much the same. But, um, you know, this series, it starts out really well and then kind of fizzles out, I guess. It's, you know, it ends on a, it ends at the end of story for, for, I mean, and it's fine, but like, it doesn't actually solve anything. Um, you know, basically the logical conclusion of the story is that Jim Corrigan is arrested and, uh, put in jail forever for like mulching people. It's like the kind of thing where it doesn't actually give you any conclusion to the story and it just ends the series. So you don't know what happens to any of the characters and you assume that the specter is not dead or in jail or something that would be dumb. But Gotham by Midnight though, it was really good. The first half uh, I really liked and then like most of this I really liked also. But again, the art got not as not as interesting for me. And, the, and that's like personally, just a personal choice. It's not a, uh, 
choice that maybe most people will like this one better. It's more more realistic. Like I said, like it's less stylized, but again, it's also very inconsistent, I think. Like it, the characters are inconsistent. You, you're just like, this is Jim Corrigan. You know, like it, I guess it's not the same artist for every issue. I don't, it couldn't possibly be. But, uh, you know, what can you do? So that's it for Gotham by Midnight. I would recommend it. I, I kind of wish like it, I kind of wish it continued or maybe the, uh, you know, story uh, had more of a satisfying conclusion, if, if anything. Um, th I think also Frankenstein, which had the same kind of path for a comic, had the same kind of problem with the, with the ending where it was just kind of, it ends, but not satisfyingly and nothing uh nothing is solved you know i guess it's it's the kind of nature of these characters who are you know obviously you can't kill them and you can't like end their story completely without like deleting the character you know they aren't they're not going to do that so yeah that's about it um got them by midnight up uh, if it were still a series going i would recommend it um if you think like you might enjoy this, you know, pick up the trade here. I don't know if they're still in print even, but uh, the first one was really, I really enjoyed. Like, I was really excited for this. And then by the end of the second one, I was kind of like, ah, man, I wish this wasn't canceled because it seems like they just ended it in a way that was uh, not satisfying because they didn't have, have an option. So, yeah, that's about it. Gotham by Midnight. Pretty good series.